giving you a voice, making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. So let's do a quick round table, give each host under 60 seconds to let us know what they are most looking forward to in Detroit. Uh, so Dan, uh, quick, quick recap. What are you looking forward to in Detroit? Let's start with you. All right, so like I'm looking forward to seeing how Detroit builds off of what we've seen at Houston. I want to see how play evolves from that. I want to see some weird double climbs that look like they shouldn't work, but they hang on by just like just a thread. I want to see that five hatch cargo and sandstorm. I don't think it's going to happen, but I want to see it. Uh, I want to see what happens in Curie. That field is a bloodbath, and Audrey will talk about it in a bit. <laughs> but I just want to see how everything works out there. And lastly, I'm looking forward to seeing some younger teams dominating the fields. I think that the North has a lot more teams that haven't been around as long, but yet are capable of playing at the highest levels. And so it makes things just kind of more interesting, I think. And also, I made a promise that if no Canadian team makes it to Einstein, I'll drink an entire container of maple syrup. So I'm ready for you, Canada. <laughs> Don't bold let me down. Balls right there. Yeah, bold <laughs> predictions. All right, Audrey, what do you think? Well, I think that's uh, an interesting little uh, bet you've got there. I'm looking forward to seeing all the New York teams who have had excellent seasons, pretty dominant seasons, like 2791, 2870, 1796. All those teams complete compete at a world stage um, in a very competitive way that we don't have like a district championship or anything like that. So I'm excited for that and whatever happens with that. Griffin, what are you excited about? <laughs> I'm excited about seeing some of the new teams who had have never really been in the competitive scene lately. Because I specifically in Chesapeake, I've seen a lot of teams come out of the shadows, and then some of the higher teams fall. And it's interesting to see that these teams that are coming out of the shadows, people don't know what to didn't know what to expect of them, and now they're like destroying destroying matches and absolutely dominating in the points. And then I'm also like everybody else, and everybody else was once the, the Detroit divisions came out. I'm interested to see what is going to be the bloodbath of Curie. All right. Um, I, I'm excited. Chips is always a lot of fun, you know. It, it's it's a lot of fun to go there. You make new friends. You uh, meet with the old friends that you've made over the years. Um, I think that this year, Detroit, as we get more and more districts, it tends to, the level of competition goes up and up. And I'm excited to see where it goes. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Uh, something I'm looking forward to, and I know no one asked me, but like, <laughs> uh, defense is going to be super powerful this year. <laughs> and at least for me, FRC, it's been a component, but this year it's obviously one of the main uh, attractive elements about Destination Deep Space presented by the Boeing Company. So <laughs> looking forward to seeing how that turns out uh, on the field, seeing how it gets played in different divisions. And then, of course, like everyone else, the Curie Bloodbath. Uh, PJ. All right. And then uh, mine is going to be a little less robot related. It's the same reason I was excited about champs last year. Like uh, Detroit's my hometown. This is where I'm from. You know, I live here. I work here. It's my favorite city on the planet. So I'm just always excited to see everybody coming in and get a chance to experience the city away from all the things you see on the news and the stereotypes about Detroit. Um, because I think everybody had a really good time last year. And I'm just really excited that it's coming back again. Um, so that's... Aren't you doing a presentation too? Yes, that's I... what... Oh, yes, I'm we're all, all excited mm -hmm. for PJ's presentation yeah. conference. It's going to oh. be awesome. <laughs> yes, I'm also doing one of those. I might mention it. I'll mention it probably later when we talk about where we'll be at Chips. So, um, so then I think before we get into it, I think Tyler has something he wants to come on stream and say. I, well, I'm just going to show this off to start out with and make some people <laughs> jealous. Yeah. Because <laughs> this thing is awesome. By the way, uh, real quick thing, an announcement if you didn't see. Uh, we're going to be giving away one of these that have a couple extras. Uh, so if you are at the Detroit Championship and you see Mike Stark and I walking around, not only do we have some of the cool, uh, fun uh, name badges, which we ran out of Houston, by the way, so come come quick. But come down and say hi to us. We'd love to talk to you. Uh, and if you take a selfie with us and tag us on uh, any of our social media platforms, you'll be entered to win a fun crew mug. So this thing is pretty awesome, by the way. Uh, all of our hosts who have gotten it so far are rocking it. And some of our hosts don't even get it yet, so they might try to enter too. So, uh, <laughs> but yeah. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.